And now it is my distinct honor to introduce you to someone who has played a vital role in the history of LGBT workplace equality. Her vision, her dedication, and her commitment to creating workplaces where everyone can be out and equal over the past 13 years has enabled so many of us to bring our entire selves to work. Please welcome Out and Equal founding and exec executive director, Celise Berry. Good evening. Thank you, Mike and Renee, our fabulous co-chairs. They're a little eye candy as well as uh, so confident. And thank you. Thank you so all so much for being here this evening. You know, we're really here to celebrate courage and leadership. And it really is you that we're here to celebrate. Your courage and your leadership and your commitment to create workplaces where everyone can truly be out and equal at work. A very special thank you to Wells Fargo and HP and all of our generous sponsors here this evening. These are companies who are showing courageous leadership every day, and we couldn't do this vital work without you. Thank you so much. You know, since we started out in equal, we have achieved much more than I could ever have dreamed possible. And we've done it in many ways. But one of the primary ways is by creating a community, a community of passionate and persistent people, a community that comes together to support one another and to celebrate our accomplishments together. And we have a lot to celebrate tonight. Since we were together last year, we celebrate, as Margaret pointed out, the long overdue demise of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. <laughs> Women and men who serve our country can finally be out at work. We celebrate the courage and leadership of Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for taking a stand for LGBT equality on the floor of the United Nations. Thank you. Connecticut and Massachusetts now include gender identity in their employment non-discrimination policies. And we celebrate the cities around the country that have passed laws banning workplace discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity, even in places like Omaha, Nebraska, just last week. Thanks to the courageous leadership of our own Mark Leno here in California, we celebrate the passage of the Fair Education Act, a law that requires schools to teach the contributions that LGBT people have made to the history of our state and our world. And while we continue to move ever closer to marriage equality here in California, we do celebrate marriage equality in the great state of Maryland and Washington. We certainly had our challenges, but our successes far outweigh our disappointments. Thanks to the courage and leadership of everyone in this room, we are making a difference in the workplace and beyond. And we are witnessing the amazing sea change of people's hearts and minds across the country and around the world. As Mike and Renee mentioned, we've just spent two days with LGBT executives, and I've had the privilege of hearing story after story about the courage and leadership of each of these individuals. Listening to these stories of these leaders in our community is a powerful reminder of how stepping up to demonstrate courage and leadership is a choice we make every single day. And the truth is, it might not always feel like courageous leadership in the moment. I remember my own struggle with my decision to finally come out. It certainly didn't feel like courage at the time. In fact, it felt a little bit more like I wanted to throw up. <laughs> but once I finally realized that I was an, a lesbian, I happened to be in seminary in a church that would not ordain out LGBT people. I spent so much time and energy hiding who I was and living in fear because I couldn't picture my life after seminary except as an ordained Presbyterian minister. 
And I knew if I came out, that, that life that I'd chosen for myself would no longer be an option. But I think for many of us in this room, there comes a time when you feel like you're standing on the edge of a cliff and you know that you have to take a step. As fearful as I was about my future, I knew it was the right choice. And in that moment, I realized that the fear and anxiety that had consumed me for so long was finally miraculously replaced by a sense of freedom and possibility. And it was that freedom and that possibility that propelled me to start an organization committed to workplace equality so no one would ever have to choose between a career we love and living our lives with authenticity and integrity. Thank you. You know, tonight we honor three truly remarkable, courageous leaders. All three honorees remind us of the vital importance of living our lives with freedom and possibility. Each has shown us in no uncertain terms that telling the truth about who we are changes our lives and changes the world. Mayor Anise Parker is the mayor of the largest city in Texas. The fourth largest city in the country, she has shown courage and leadership and has contributed to the well-being of the city of Houston in thousands of ways, big and small. She shares her passion for and commitment to LGBT equality, and under her leadership, Houston now has stronger laws protecting our community. And she's also worked to reduce the city's deficit and improve the quality of life for all the residents of Houston. So thank you, Anise. We're thrilled to be able to honor Anise Parker this evening. You know, I, uh, I don't think we can even imagine um, the amount, the uh, impact that Rick Welts has had on professional athletes around the country in every sport. In a profession where LGBT issues are absolutely not discussed. The courage and leadership Rick exhibited in coming out publicly was extraordinary, especially in the area of men's professional sports. Rick shows his commitment to our community by supporting the You Can Play project aimed at ending homophobia in the locker room. It's been said that Rick's contributions have been so complete that you wouldn't do him justice by isolating just one thing. Although I think the lesbians in the room might say that his launch of the WNBA was his crowning achievement. So thank you, Rick. We're thrilled to be able to honor your courage and leadership this evening. At the height of her career, Shelley Wright decided she would no longer live a lie and became the first country music star to come out of the closet. Shelley didn't stop <laughs> with coming out publicly. She took the step by the next step by becoming the spokesperson for GLSEN, the Gay Lesbian Education uh, Straight Education Network, with a commitment to ending school bullying. Shelley has established a foundation to provide scholarships to college students who are playing an active role in advocating for LGBT rights and very recently opened the Lighthouse in Kansas City to serve as a safe haven and welcoming community center for the LGBT community in the heartland. So thank you to Shelley Wright for your courage and leadership. Leadership is often defined as the ability of one person to light the spark of inspiration in the many, and each of our honorees have done just that. Whether it's Anise Parker, who has shown her city and the great state of Texas and the country that competence and ability is never compromised by telling the truth about yourself. Whether it's Shelley Wright, showing a young girl in Nashville that she can be proud not only of her ability to sing and write songs, but also of who she is and who she loves. Whether it's Rick Welts, giving hope and courage to all those players and staff of major league sports, and the little league player who now knows it's okay to be who you are and to love who you love. Whether it's each one of you, 
looking for another opportunity to share your stories within your organizations, asking for more equality in your corporate policies, providing leadership for expanding your policies globally, or giving back to our community by getting more involved in Out and Equal or the other wonderful organizations around the country. And when you're on the edge of the cliff, and you're not feeling very courageous, remember tonight, remember that you're not alone. We're all in this together. We're here to support one another. We're here to celebrate each other. And together, we'll continue to create organizations where we can bring our entire selves to work every day. And together, we will experience freedom and endless possibilities. Thank you for the work that you do every day, making a difference, changing the world, one cubicle, one corner office, and one workplace at a time. Thank you very much.